In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to add textures to your models using Cycles Render in Blender. First of all, open Blender and change the render model to Cycles Render. Now open the Materials tab and remove the Materials slot and add a new one. Set the surface to Glossy. And beside the color, click the circle and choose Image Texture. Find a texture on Google Images that you're going to map onto the cube and save the image to your desktop. In the Materials tab, click on the Image Folder icon and select the image that you downloaded. Change the viewing mode to Compositing. Go into Edit Mode on the cube and select All by pressing A. Click on Mesh and choose UV Unwrap and then select Unwrap. Go into the image window and click the image icon and then select the downloaded image. Move, scale and reposition the box so that it covers the desired area of your UV image. Go back to default viewing mode and change the 3D view to texture view. In the materials tab, change the roughness to 0.3 to reduce the shininess. Go back to object mode and add a plane as a floor. Add a new texture for the floor in the materials tab and set this one to glossy, roughness 0.7. Delete the default lamp from the scene. Add another plane and position it as a light source. In material properties, add a new material and change it to emission. Change the color to white and the strength to 30. Have a look at it in rendered view. Go back to texture view. Now reposition the lights and the camera until you're happy with the desired outcome. Render the image to see what it's going to look like. You'll notice quite a lot of grain or noise. Go into the Render tab and scroll down to Samples. Change the value to 50. Render again and see the difference. To save the image, go to Image Save and save a PNG to your desktop. Now create a simple animation of the cube moving, rotating or scaling up or down over time. Add some camera movement, for example, a pan from left to right, or moving the camera closer or further away from your object. Render the animation as a H.264 QuickTime movie. So this has been a brief tutorial on how to add textures to your objects using Cycles Mode in Blender.